All right, ladies and gents, back again with installment number five of the Voodoo Project Pulse Induction Metal Detector with Iron Rejection, designed by George Overton. So we're still working on the uh, pulse induction portion of the circuit. Um, specifically, I just completed the pulse induction demodulator portion, and that's essentially what you see there on the on the uh, printed circuit board. It's based around a 4066 chip. So the uh, signal comes out of the preamp, right? And the next thing it's going to hit is this 4066 right here. And this is what is going to give us the main sample pulse and sample delay and EFE. And we'll take a look at that next on the screen of the oscilloscope. So I wanted to take a, a little look at the 4066 chip that's part of the synchronous demodulator portion of the circuit. So that's what we're showing on the screen here. And essentially, it, it's a bunch of um, single pole switches, right? That's the easiest way to understand it. And we'll just look at uh, the, the first switch. You see input one here and output one. Th those could actually be reversed. You can input or output on either of them. Just remember, it's, it's just like a single pole switch. But the switch is controlled over here. We're talking about switch one. It's controlled by this point 13 and in the case of the uh, the voodoo which we're discussing um, the signal on 13 which is going to tell the 4066 to close that switch or, or open it is that's coming from the pick right and in this instance the input here is going to be the signal from the preamp and the output is going to be the actual pulse, right? It's going to be the main sample pulse in this instance. So we're going to be utilizing three of these uh, switches on the 4066. We're going to have the, the main sample pulse. We're going to have the EFE sample pulse and also the disk sample pulse for the hybrid portion. So that, that's just a, a brief look at what's going on here on the 4066. So what we have on the screen here in yellow, you see here, that's the output of the preamp, right? And in purple or pink or whatever that is, that's our, our main sample. So from here obviously we can also deduce what the sample delay is and as mentioned before that's that's all easily adjustable through the use of our push buttons and obviously we can view that on the LCD screen all right ladies and gents back again with the voodoo project what you see on the screen here is the uh, PI channel filter and right here is the the audio circuit I've got a high impedance speaker plugged in right now and I'm going to show you on the oscilloscope what test point 20 looks like and test point 20 is the output, the second output of the PI channel filter. It's a uh, TL072.
So let's take a look at that. Okay, so we're hooked up to test point 20, and I have a British predecimal penny. And there's our waveform off the PI channel filter. Okay. I'm getting about uh, 8 inches on that predecimal penny. You can see it's it's one tone. So we are going to uh, continue with the disc channels and come back and show you what the hybrid mode looks like. All right, guys. So the board's completed, and I wanted to show you what it looks like when the Voodoo is in hybrid mode. So what I'm doing here, I'm presenting an iron target and you can see it's being identified as iron. We'll switch back to a nice copper penny. and the two shilling piece a US quarter a US penny and let's try a silver ring and back to the iron So it, it's clear to me that uh, project is a success. I'm using a Fisher F75 coil and I'll, I'll do a few more videos as bits and pieces get changed out. Thanks guys.